Uncle Jimmy's here. Mm. Oh, no. I'm Uncle Jimmy. I am the elder spokesperson for this congregation. My, 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 my mama said that I, I was in the gifted class. Was it ever a doubt in your mind I wasn't coming back? <laughs> Somebody gonna have to tell LeVar Aaron that it's time to let this hairdo go. All right? One, two, three, not it. Okay? There you go. Hey, Acho. Hey, man. You hey. need to quote the Bible to this dude. Hey, man, tell him that part about when I became a man, I put childish, childish things away. Things. The only way them braids is gonna stand up again is if he put the Alice on it. Hey, Sam, you don't know nothing about that kind of love right there, Jim Jackson. You might have had breakfast you might be in bed, right. but you ain't never had Thanksgiving dinner in bed. <laughs> you come to work every day fit as a fit. Unlike James Harden, who came to work last night looking like he ate everything on the whole damn griddle. <laughs> hey, man, he sent me a text. <laughs> Said he want me to come out of retirement. <laughs> I do it for him. Stop it, too, baby. Cause I rose like that. Who in the hell <laughs> gonna put an Irishman in charge of a whiskey company? That make about as much sense as putting a brother in charge of a check cashing company. Aaron Rodgers got a look in his eyes like he's always reminiscing about the first time that he ever chopped the head off. I've soiled myself again. What are you gonna do? Grampus. Pampers for your grampus. You look like a tall, dark, and sexy bottle of Pepto Bismol. <laughs> That's what the hell you look like. <laughs> Don't be surprised if before this season's over, yeah. LeBron James be the first player in NBA history to dunk a ball with his feet. <laughs> <laughs> All NFL teams need to go get them a black quarterback. <laughs> they need to go get them a quarterback that ain't afraid to stand in line at the Popeyes and get one of them new chicken sandwiches. <laughs> you wanna be me? That's what it is. You wanna be me? Don't you, Lamar Jackson? Man, I'm laying in the floor. I can't even lift up my own head, man. And my 15 year old son picks up my hand. And my 15 year old son said, God, I'm lifting up my daddy in prayer. So I'm telling you, man, I raised a 15-year-old son that this 15-year-old son knows that when times get hard, he knows he can reach out and he can call on the spirit of Jesus to help his daddy. See, Jason, it's not the fact that God don't help and bless people. It's the fact that People don't stop and tell God thank you for the blessings and the goodness that he's brought for them in their life. We don't want to put money in the police because therefore you have a one-man unit driving around as opposed to a two-man unit. You're sitting up here saying what you can't. This, this man, this video is still going on, Jason. This officer is fighting for his life. But Job couldn't just pray for forgiveness for himself. Job had to pray for forgiveness for everybody else. See, and it was at that moment that Job asked for forgiveness for everybody else that God said to him, now you heal, get up, go on, on your way. I'm representing for the fearless all across the world. Grill, I'm in the drop and I love big girls. Grill, some say it's an art, some say it's a shame that you would quit on your country right before the game. Well, I done checked up high, I done checked down low, and it's called a quitter no matter where you go. I'm contagious. Don't touch me, baby. Don't give me what you got. Because I want you. And I need you, <laughs> and I love you. They're like, oh, go get it, Ricky. <laughs> and don't have me throwing passes in tight places. And those free May fans got those look on their faces. Like they want me to take that poison. <laughs> if I was you, I'd take precautions. Good rancher. This is why in our country, if we give a woman roses to put up on her piano, should we not wake up and expect tulips on our organ? <laughs> we gonna feel like the Cincinnati Bengals with knots on our heads as quick as we can run. <laughs> Next question. I'm Al Sharpton. Even Stevie Wonder can clearly see that Nicole was the instigator. Brother Usher, can you make sure that 
Br Brother Celibate gets that offering plate around here to him. Could you elaborate on what Denzel Washington said to you after you slapped Chris Rock? The woman got to know you could defend her. You just <laughs> knock somebody out. And if you knock, if you knock, I mean, it could be a stranger. And you just, you just knock somebody out and she see your strength. You can call me Uncle Chucky, but let me tell you, I'm one heck of a coach, man. <laughs> I coach football. What's with those glasses? If I keep these on, can't nobody take my temperature. You know, especially anally, man. Our law firm will teach you the tricks of the trade that are sure to escalate your encounter with the police into a financial windfall. Hey, hey well, the real question, pretty soon, you know, Uncle Jimmy gonna have to get his own show. I know, here we go. <laughs>